area after 31 minutes. Ipswich took the lead six minutes into the second half. Jason Dazelle's flick on headed in by Chris Kiwomya. The goal a carbon copy of the one which beat Aston Villa in the Coca-Cola Cup last week. Kiwomya scoring his 12th goal of the season. And Tam made the point safe with a second goal just two minutes from time. The ball falling to fullback Neil Thompson whose shot beat Brian Gunn. So a night for Ipswich to savour. Norwich nil, Ipswich two. Chris Kiwomia, the scorer, set up by Jason Dezel. It was a carbon copy of the match winner against Aston Villa, which had come just six days earlier in the Coca-Cola Cup. Suddenly, all was not shining brightly at the Golden Star. And Ipswich put the issue beyond doubt two minutes from time. Dezel and Witten combining to set up Neil Thompson's Thunderbolt. 2-0 to Ipswich. They were smiling on the pitch. They were smiling back home in the pubs. But no one was smiling more than Jason Dezel, the boy from Ipswich, given a bobble hat to celebrate by his brother in the crowd. No, that's right. I said um, on Friday, I mean, I did own one for the 85 semi-final, so this is more than made up for it, so I'm absolutely delighted. But there was at least one man from Ipswich going back home less than happy. Yeah, obviously uh, disappointed. Uh, it was a good game, but I think, to be fair, Ipswich outplayed us in quite a lot of departments there. I think all credit to them, they've done a bit of homework on us and they stopped me and Daryl such from, you know, getting the ball because I think that's our strengths, getting it wide and getting crossing. But as I said, I think, you know, all credit to it, they've done their homework and come with the points they deserve. Oh, mate, I'll die a happy man now. I've always wanted to win here, so it's just great. Unbelievable. He knew that victory over their old rivals would put them seven points clear at the top of the Premier League. But Ipswich was soon outperforming them. Paul Goddard's pass from inside his own half beat the offside trap. Steve Witten's advance, halted by Norwich keeper Brian Gunn. It was one of Norwich's worst performances of the season, the Ipswich defence proving itself ruthlessly efficient. Geraint Williams with the saving tackle. Town's first goal came after 52 minutes, and Neil Thompson corner was flicked on by Jason Dezel, Chris Kiwomia heading in his 12th goal of the season, performing the familiar Kiwomia wiggle to the delight of the Ipswich supporters. Norwich's second successive league defeat was sealed when a Dazelle cross was deflected by Kiwomia. Neil Thompson scoring with just two minutes left. Ipswich 2, Norwich 1. The result puts Ipswich Town at sixth position in the Premier League table. Yeah. Ipswich Town's Paul Goddard, daughters Kimberly and Holly and Great Dane Woody, were today enjoying once again the high spots of last night's game. The uh, coaches and the management team had a set plan and uh, tactically they worked it out and it, it seemed to work and um, you know credit to everybody who played, uh, we got the result. You won praise for your performance in midfield? Yeah, not a midfield role but uh, the management asked me to play a certain kind of role and um, just be in front of our two midfield players and behind Chris. It worked to a T really, nobody seemed to be coming to mind me and I was pleased with my own performance but the main thing is the result, and uh, yeah, we, we were a credit to Ipswich last night. Today, around the Portman Road ground, Ipswich Town fans were still celebrating last night's victory. Thompson's goal was the better of the two goals. But other than that, that was generally a good game in the hole. I love both the goals, and I love the players, and I love the club. And you think the best team won? Oh, definitely. Hate Norwich. <laughs> Why do you hate Norwich? Oh, because we come from Ipswich and I just hate Norwich. Norwich City manager Mike Walker today paid tribute to Ipswich Town's performance, but made no apologies for being four points clear at the top of the league. We'd like to have been seven points clear. Now we're only four points clear. Um, I can think of a lot of teams in this league that would uh, like to be in a position with us. Well, the critical say, say that last night was the start of the slide back down again. What do you think of oh, that? Of course they will. They've been saying it all season, so why change? We're not worried. We just keep going out and playing. And, uh, you know, the... I mean, Leeds United, I mean, Arsenal have lost four out of their last five. 
um, you know, where does it put them? I mean, we're not worried about that. We're, you know, we're four points clear at the top. We're at the top because we've done really well. Meanwhile, at Portman Road, the ticket sales office was doing booming business today. As bookmakers, William Hill halved the club's odds on winning the Premier League title from 50 to 1 to 25 to 1. 